Hey guys, I'm Hellhound, and uh, welcome to my Midnight Spook Show here on the Horror and Metal Channel. Um, today we're going to be doing the uh, uh, we're going to be doing Bronco Juggalo's Curse of Child's Play tag. Uh, now you know we recently did a Freddy tag, a Jason tag, a Michael Myers tag, and a Leatherface tag. So I was hoping somebody would make a Chucky related tag eventually. So come full circle, you know he's like he's my fifth favorite uh, horror villain next to those other four. Uh, they're kind of like I consider them like the big five. Of, you know, horror villains, so definitely pretty cool. Uh, I just got back from the beach yesterday, so I had a really nice vacation, had a fun time. Um, but now I'm back home and it's time to make some videos. So uh, I wish I still had my Chucky doll. I had a Chucky doll and a Tiffany doll. I really wish I still had them, um, but I actually gave them to my, my old roommate, so uh, he's got them. But uh, I'll, I'll get another one someday. But anyway, uh, check out uh, Bronco Juggalo's channel. He tagged me, he created this video. Um, great idea. Again, I, I definitely, I'm definitely going to have a Chucky tag now. So, uh, let's go ahead and begin. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, question number one. Um, do you prefer the original Chucky look or the scarred bride of Chucky look? Meaning when he had the, you know, the stitched up face and stuff after being sliced up at the end of part three. Um, she stitched it back together and kind of like a Frankenstein monster appearance going on. Um, well, I prefer the original. It just looks like an ordinary doll, but I'm definitely glad they gave him a new look in Bride of Chucky. I think that was a great idea. That made him more interesting. Uh, that made him more unique. You know, it was it was very refreshing to see him have you know, a new appearance, which was awesome. I think the stitch look is awesome. Um, yeah, I do prefer the original, but I'm not one of those people who thinks that he should have looked like that through the whole series. It's been boring. You know, why, why do people want more of the same so much? Why, why do people people can't accept change? You know, people just want to see the same thing over and over and over and over. I love the stitched look. I love the scarred face. Chucky, I think it looks awesome. Um, I'm definitely glad they did it, though. Uh, as I said, I do prefer the original overall, but I do love the stitch look as well. And I'm definitely glad that they gave him a new appearance because that was awesome. You know, he got like an <laughs> got an upgrade, sort of, or just you know, a new look. Um, anyway, uh, question number two: Did the series need Tiffany? Um, well, I don't think it really needed her, but I'm glad that they introduced her. I mean, I think that was an interesting idea. Chucky gets a bride, and he gets a companion. How many horror villains do that? It was Jason never, and Freddy never got a bride, you know? That's awesome. I get another killer doll, you know? That's, that's, that's a hell of an idea. It's a great idea. You know, just his ex-girlfriend from when he was human. I think Tiffany was a great idea. Um, I think C to Chucky kind of overdid it with Jennifer Tilly and Tiffany in general, but um, but I definitely love the Tiffany character. I think it was a, she was a great addition to the series. Um, I'm, I'm kind of glad that the the more recent sequels went back to focusing primarily on Chucky, but I do think that the the series definitely benefited from Tiffany. I think she was a great idea, and I'm glad she's in the series for sure. You know, it's it's too awesome that Chucky has a companion, and that there's two killer dolls. It's not just Chucky, you know, by himself every single time because that would have got old. You know, that would have got repetitive. I love the Chucky series for, um, you know, going through so many changes. You know, um, but still staying true to this, you know, the source material despite shifting the tone dramatically, you know, from shifting from horror to straight up comedy and then back to horror and so on. Uh, but yeah, I, I like Tiffany. I think she was definitely a, a welcome addition to the series. I'm glad she's there. Um, all right, uh, question number three. What is your favorite film in the series? Oh, definitely the first one, the original Child's Play. Uh, that was the scariest, the most suspenseful, you know, it was kind of first of its kind. Um, you know, it showed Chucky as a human at the beginning. Charles Lee Ray, played by Brad Dourif, who does the voice, and he's one of my heroes. He's awesome. He is Chucky, you know. He always will be. Um, yeah, I always like the first one the best. You know, it's the most horror. Um, the most horror... Most, uh, the most horror... Out of the series, I, I guess I'm trying to say. It's, 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 uh, it's the most like a horror movie, you know. It's the scariest, yeah. Uh, <laughs> lost my train of thought, I'm sorry. Um, I think the sun got to me. I think I got too much sun while I was at the beach. Uh, but anyway, yeah, the original's my favorite, you know. Um, it's it's uh, it's the best. I think it's the best well-made, well-directed, um, scariest, all that. Uh, but anyway, uh, question number four. What is your favorite Chucky one-liner? Oh, man, he's got so many great quotes. One of, part of, the, one of the staples of his characters is the is his uh, wisecracks and uh, his... Um, his witty uh, one lines he's hilarious. Uh, there's too many to pick from, so I'm going to go with my top five. Um, I love his comment about women drivers in, uh, in the second film. Also love, uh, you've been very naughty, Mrs. Kettlewell. Um, presto, you're dead. Uh, don't fuck with the Chuck. And uh, also in um, Seed of Chucky, where he takes the axe and cut and, uh, chops a hole in the, in the door, puts his face through. Everybody's expecting him to say, here's Chucky, but he says, 
I can't think of a thing to say. <laughs> that was hilarious. But there's so many great Chucky lines, you know. So those are my top five, probably. But there's so many to choose from. So many great ones. Um, he's just hilarious. He's just a little foul-mouthed killer doll. <laughs> he's got so many great quotes. He's a very quotable character. Um, it kind of sets him apart from the other horror villains. Um, all right, question number five. Child's Play 3. Do you love it or hate it? And why? Um... I like it. Yeah, I think that Child's Play 3 and Seed of Chucky are the two weakest entries in the series, um, but I still like them. I don't think they're terrible. I don't think Child, the Child's Play series has a terrible entry. Um, again, Child's Play 3 and Seed of Chucky are, are the worst in the series, but I think they're still good. I still like them a lot. They're flawed, um, but I don't hate them at all. I, I think Child's Play 3 is great. He says some of the best lines in that movie, like some of the ones I mentioned. Um, you know, we see a lot of the Chucky character in Part 3. Um, I think the, the military school was kind of a cool idea. I think Just, Justin Whalen was a good Andy. Um, I don't know. It does feel like there's something missing. It does feel very rushed. It came out just a mere year after part two. It does feel like that they they definitely uh, they like they hurried with it too much. They didn't take their time. Um, yeah, I think some certain things didn't go as far as they could. Like Shelton, his death wasn't as great of a payoff as it should have been. Uh, I love the climax, the ending at the amusement park. I thought that was awesome. Um, again, Chucky's great, um, he looks great, he sounds great, Brad Dourif does the voice one, uh, so well, you know, and he has some of the best lines in that one. Um, I like Child's Play 3, it's, it's definitely not one of the, one of the best, uh, entries in the series, but I like it, I think it's underrated. Um, again, it is one of the weaker ones, but I still, I still like it. It's definitely flawed, it's definitely not as good as the first two, or, or, you know, Bride of Chucky, or some of the others, but, um, I still like it, I still like it a lot, you know. Um, Chucky has some of the best lines, and some of the best kills, and... So this atmosphere in here, Tyler was pretty annoying, and uh, there's a lot of annoying characters, and I think certain things couldn't be, could have been milked a lot more. I think the military school setting, it gives a good idea, but I think there are certain, uh, certain situations they could have explored a little more, certain uh, directions they could have taken that would have been more interesting, but I, I don't know, I like Child's Play 3, I don't, I don't think it's terrible. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> question number six, what's your favorite Chucky and or Tiffany kill? Uh, well, how about this? Let's go my favorite Chucky kill, my favorite Tiffany kill, and then my favorite um, kill that they both did. You know, their the co-op kill, if you will. A kill that they both uh, performed. Uh, my favorite Chucky kill? Oh, man. You know, I love the hammer in the face and sending Maggie flying out the window in the first movie. That was the first kill in the series, pretty much. I like that a lot. But uh, let's go with Miss Kettlewell from Part 2. That was the most satisfying. She was just a total bitch, you know? You, we've, all had, we've all had that one teacher that we just couldn't stand. We've all had a awful teacher that was just, you know, um, mean and, 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 and not understanding at all. Every, everybody's had a teacher they didn't like, and uh, I think that's definitely what made this scene so satisfying. I love the look on his face. He stabs her, then he, um, then she goes flying across the room, and he comes out with a ruler. I love that evil look on his face and the music that plays. Um, so it's kind of more about the, the build-up, because he, he beats her to death with a ruler, I guess. So it's not really a great kill, but I love the build-up and, like, the look on his face and just the the whole, uh, the tone of the scene. It's just so, like, gives me chills every time. Just like, oh, it's so rewarding, so satisfying to watch. Um, so it's my favorite kill, probably, for that reason. I uh, heard Tiffany kill, definitely when she guts Red Man and uh, see you Chucky. You know, she sneaks under the table, cuts his, his freaking guts out. His intestines spill out if she cuts him along the abdomen. I think that was awesome. It was pretty brutal. Uh, see you Chucky was definitely the goriest uh, entry in the series. Uh, my favorite kill they both did, definitely the beheading in Sea to Chucky. They both grab, um, what was it, string? They both grab um, part of the string, wrap around the guy's neck, and just slices his head off. His head goes in the air. That was one of the best decapitations I've seen in a horror movie. That was just so awesome, you know. So that was definitely my favorite kill they both, uh, <laughs> that they both performed. Um, all right, question number seven. Do you like that MGM is doing a Child's Play remake without Brad Dourif? No, I do not. Um, for years, the Child's Play franchise was one of the one of the only horror movies that didn't have to follow the stupid, ridiculous trend of the stupid remake uh, bandwagon. It didn't have to be, ugh, didn't have to bear that horrible stigma. Every fucking movie has to be re remade. But I was like, oh well, the Child's Play movies are they're making more sequels. But no, nope, you got to remake that one too. That Brad Dourif, fuck you. No, it gives a thumbs down from me. Terrible idea. Screw you. Um, luckily, they are making a TV series that's going to follow the movies and actually have Brad Dourif and Don Mancini involved. So I'll stick you, I'll stick with that. Thank you very much. Screw your stupid ass Hollywood remake. Are you supposed to be a high tech Chucky this time, with laser eyes and buzz saws for a hands? Give me a break. Get that shit out of here. Um, so yeah.
piss off with that. Um, terrible idea. Uh, I'll stick with the television series, and hopefully they'll, they'll make more actual sequels, because they don't need a remake. They were able to make sequels and bring the series back to its roots. They, they already get... Curse of Chucky was like a reboot, you know. It was a sequel, but it, it breathed new life into the series. It made the franchise relevant again. We don't need to be remade. Um, so, piss off. Uh, okay, uh... Ugh, so stupid. Question number eight. If you would have wrote Seed of Chucky, what would you have changed? Um, well, again, I don't think it's a bad movie. It is my least favorite of the series, but I don't think it's terrible. I don't think it's as horrible as everybody says. Uh, there's a lot of things that don't make any sense about it. Uh, I, I explained this a little bit in my Seed of Chucky review. Um, how does Glenn revive his parents? Yeah, they left him the amulet, and he finds you know, the, the props. They're making a movie about Chucky and Tiffany. He finds the props in the movies, and all he does is just say what's on the amulet, and they awaken. Were those the original bodies that are actually found in the cemetery, retooled to look like you know, to be in the movie? I think they mentioned that, but I don't know. He just says the chant, and they wake up. I mean, in previous movies, they had to put them back together, uh, well, Tiffany said the chant. She said the full chant um, when he woke up. But I, I don't know. I, I guess he, maybe he was thinking about them at the time. Like, I don't know. Like, why did, why were they resurrected? And those, it must have been the same bodies. It had to have been. That's my only explanation. Also, how come, um, you know, Chucky impregnates Jennifer Tilly, which is confusing in, its, in itself. Jennifer Tilly plays herself, and it's just to do the voice of Tiffany, and she looks exactly like Tiffany as a human. It would have been better if it was, like, her twin sister or something. Um, he impregnates her with his sperm, but the... She has twins, and they're not part doll. They look like Chucky, but they're not part doll, okay? He had a kid with Tiffany at the end of Bride of Chucky, and Glenn, who's a doll. Why aren't the two twins part doll? That doesn't make any sense. If they came from Chucky's sperm, shouldn't they be part doll? Um, I don't know, I guess because they had a human mother they weren't? I don't know. Um, and how were they able to split Bl Glenn, uh, Glenn slash Glenda? He's a split personalities into two different babies, like... If somebody has split personality and they perform the chant, can each personality go into a different body? I mean, I guess. I mean, apparently, according to the movie, it can. Also, um, those two babies, did their soul... What happened to them? Did their souls just die? Did they go into the Glendall? What? Tiffany sure didn't seem to care that, you know, I mean, those are like her, you know... Didn't care about those babies dying or going to the Glenn's body. Uh, you know, that was weird. There's a lot of things that didn't make a lot of sense. I also think that the Hollywood setting should have been milked a lot more. They spent too much time in... Jennifer Tilly's house. Um, I mean, it takes place in Hollywood. I feel like there was a lot of, um, a lot of possibilities that could have been explored, but it kind of, I don't know, it's kind of didn't really go that route, you know. So, I, don't know, I think it was kind of a, a missed opportunity. Um, but yeah, there's just a lot of things that didn't make sense to me. Um, but overall, I, I think I don't think it's a terrible movie. It's, it's definitely not as good as the others. It was definitely the most funny out of the out of the series. It's a straight up comedy, pretty much. I mean. You know, there's some darker scenes, but it's pretty much just a mostly humorous and comedic, you know. A lot of jokes, not a lot of, not very many scares. But some of the best kills, though, definitely the goriest one. Uh, but yeah, I would have changed a lot of things, but I, I, st I still like the movie. I don't think it's terrible. Um, even though it is the weakest, for sure. But it's not as bad as, you know, it's not as bad as Halloween Resurrection or, uh, you know, Take Chainsaw Master's Next Generation or Freddy's Dead. It's not, you know, or any of the remakes of those movies uh, from those franchises. It's not, it's not that bad. Um, but anyway, yeah, there's a few things that would change. All right, uh, question number nine. What do you want to see in the upcoming Child's Play TV show? Well, since apparently they're not getting another sequel, which is re stupid, uh, remaking it instead, which again is a terrible idea. Um, I guess I want to see all the things I would have wanted to see in a an eighth film, um, which is, you know, of course, con good continuity. Um, maybe more flashbacks of when Charles Lee Ray was a human, you know, played by Brad Dourif. What was his involvement with Eddie Caputo? I feel like they didn't really go in very into depth with that. I keep ripping the bottom of my pants. Um, <laughs> um, the bottom of my, uh, my, my leg, the, the legs of the jeans. Um, yeah, uh, how was he involved in Eddie Caputo? They, there's a cool flashback um, to that would have been cool. Also showing him as a human with Tiffany I think would have been awesome. Um, yeah, so, so pretty much any flashback showing Charles Lee, uh, Lee Ray's life before he became the killer doll, before he became Chucky, you know, would have been awesome. Um, also, I'd like to see Glenn and Glinda, not as the main focus by any means, but, you know, it'd be cool to see them grown up. It'd be, it'd be neat to see, like, I want to see what happened to them. They didn't explain it in Curse of Chucky or Cult of Chucky. Um, there apparently were references to the characters, but they are all deleted um, from the finished product. So, yeah, I want to see what happened to Glenn and Glenda. Have them, just don't have them as, like, the primary focus, because mm, I don't think it should be, you know, about that. I don't think the focus should be on Chucky and, and maybe Tiffany. Uh, but mostly Chucky. I don't, I don't think Glenn and Glenda should be there too much. Um, also, yeah, uh, Alex Vincent re should return as Andy. Uh, of course, uh, Fiona Durf should return as Nika, even though she's now possessed by Chucky, which is interesting. Uh, I'm not sure how they're going to 
what they're going to do with that. Uh, of course, Tiffany should be in it, and she's now in Jennifer Tilly's body, you know, which is kind of confusing, but, um, uh, well, Christina Lee's reprised her role as Kyle at the end of, uh, Cult of Chucky. She should be in it. It'd be cool to see Chris Sarandon return as Mike Norris, um, Catherine Hicks return as Karen Barkley. Any returning characters or you know, any nods or Easter eggs to the, to the franchise that only true Chucky fans will, uh, appreciate, I think would be good. So, yeah, anything like that, um... You know, but, you know, some, let's see Chucky explore some interesting, uh, let's, let's see um, some different scenarios featuring Chucky, things we haven't seen before. You know, the, one original idea of her is Chucky is going to be in a train. You know, I wouldn't mind that. We've seen him in an asylum, which was awesome. Uh, maybe Chucky's in a train. Maybe Chucky goes to Vegas <laughs> like a leprechaun. Not to space, though. Chucky doesn't maybe go to space. Um, I don't know. It's just all kinds of different um, situations involving Chucky, things we haven't seen before would be cool. Um, you know, now he can, he can split his soul into different, uh, dolls and other bodies, so, you know, he has that ability now, so, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of possibilities they can explore with that, so, um, but yeah, um, most of all, lots of, lots of Chucky, uh, Bruce for Brad Dourif, of course, um, some good kills, you know, some, some good characters, um, introduce some new characters, but definitely include the old as well, but yeah, there's a lot of things they can do, there's a lot of, uh, possibilities and i'm sure they'll come up with something good don mancini's been there he's been he's the main guy he's been with chucky that he's been with the franchise since the beginning he's written all the entries and directed the last uh three so um i trust they'll come up with something good i i, I have faith in mancini and he'll deliver the goods all right guys i'm hellhound uh long live chucky the child's play franchise is excellent i look forward to the upcoming tv series i'll be boycotting the shitty remake um with a high-tech Chucky, it'll probably be CGI shit, um, but anyway, uh, thank you for watching, um, check out Bronco Juggalo's original video, um, subscribe to his channel, I'm Hellhound, um, until next time, see you later guys.